When I was a child, I spent a lot of time climbing trees and watching wildlife. Over 70% of the Earth's land is affected by human activities, and about a quarter is degraded as a result. When we damage land-based ecosystems, this contributes to global warming. For example, cutting down trees releases the carbon stored in the wood, vegetation and soil. Poor land use practices also reduce the resilience of ecosystems, making them more vulnerable to climate change impacts. But healthy, resilient ecosystems actually remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. They also play an important role in local temperature levels. Think about how much cooler it is when you enter a park or a forest during a heat wave. At one degree of warming, climate change is already harming wildlife and contributing to land degradation and food insecurity. These impacts are set to worsen with further warming and will hit the most vulnerable the hardest. Food supplies will become more unstable as the number and intensity of extreme events grow. Some regions may even become uninhabitable. The good news is that land can be part of the solution to climate change if we urgently stop deforestation, restore ecosystems and sustainably manage the land. But we need to act fast. We need to reduce all greenhouse gas emissions as fast as possible to limit warming to 1.5 degrees and thereby protect the land and its important capacity to store carbon.